You're welcome to my virtual DJ, Effects Tutorial Episode 1. In today's episode, we are starting with the backspin effect. And this is the backspin effect. So, things that you can use the backspin to do. You can use the backspin to scratch. And also to do transition between tracks. You can fly, but you'll never get closer to the sun. You may rise at the price of everyone who's falling down. But I'm not going down with you. Shining on a cloudy day. And it don't matter what you say. And under the scratch, the types of scratch you can use the backspin to do is transformer scratch. And stab scratch. And I have two methods on how to scratch with the backspin. One is the backspin and crossfader. And two is hot cue and the backspin. So, we are looking at the first method in today's episode. That is the backspin and crossfader. And we will look at the second method in episode 2. So, without wasting time, let's go to our settings, click on controllers, and click on advanced editor, and type in the key you want to use for the script. And for me, I'm using key 4, and type in this script. So, this is the mapping script for the backspin effect, and this is how it works. If you press on the key, this reverse will play the song backward while you press. You may win, you and Effect Backspin Active will spin the song backward while press. And Up Question Mark means if the key is release. It should execute or perform this action. Go to Q and play. So let's go to the crossfader mapping script. And please, don't forget to help me grow the channel by subscribing, likes, and commenting. So, this is the crossfader used to cut off deck one. In this script, if you press and hold on the key, the crossfader will go to 95%. And it doesn't matter wherever the crossfader is. It will move to 95%, and after you release the key, it will move to 100%. So, this is also the crossfader used to cut off deck 2. In this script, just change the crossfader value to 5%. And this one to 0%. You may rise to the price of everyone who's falling And get another two keys. In the first key, type in this script. So, wherever you press on this key, it will set the crossfader to scratch. And this means if the crossfader leaves one edge, you will hear the opposite track at its full volume. This creates a nice cutting sounds when scratching. So copy the script and go to the second key. And paste it here. And change the scratch in the quotation mark to full. This is ideal for mixing using the chorus fader. You can fly, but you'll never get closer to the sun. You may rise at the price of everyone who's falling down. But I'm not going down with you. Shining on a cloudy day. So, wherever you want to scratch with the cross fader, just press on the key that you set for cross fader curve scratch. And if you want to mix, just press on the key that you set for crossfader curveful. That is all for the scripts. So now let me teach you how to play with the keys. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell for future tutorials. And in case you don't understand anything, leave it in the comments section. Let's do this settings on the backspin. Go to backspin settings. Turn on the stop on end, and the length set it to 2.76 seconds. So, I will first teach the transformer scratch. 
And this is what we are coming to learn. Step 1. You will click on the backspin and the crossfader together, so you will hear the backspin sound. And get to click on the crossfader. Step 2. You will click on the backspin and the crossfader together and get one click on the crossfader. On this step do it four times. Now combine step 1 and step 2 together. Step 1 Step 2 Together Now, let's scratch it on instrumental. It's easy but not easy when you don't practice it more. Second the stab scratch. You will click on the backspin and the crossfader together five times. Also combine the stab scratch and transformer scratch together. And if you find this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and leave your comment in the comment section. See you in episode 2.